So do your performances lack because of stage fright? Well, if so, believe me, you're not alone. Millions of people suffer from performance anxiety. And today I'm giving you five ways to overcome stage fright. What's up everybody, welcome to Trumpet Geek Nation where we talk tips, tricks, gear, and other general geekiness revolving around the world's coolest instrument, the trumpet. Today's topic is not so much about the trumpet itself, but certainly has a place within the category, and that is stage fright. If you've ever stepped out on stage in front of a crowd to perform, then you know all too well what this is. It's a crippling fear that jacks your heart rate, destroys your focus, and just completely botches your performances. Conquering stage fright does take time, but most importantly, it takes practice. So enough talking, here are five ways to overcome stage fright. Number one, be prepared. This should be a no-brainer, but think about it. What's the number one reason why you're so scared to stand in front of an audience? You're afraid you're going to mess up, right? If you take the time to prepare well, like when you can wake up at 2 a.m. to a fire alarm, trip over the coffee table, stump your toe, and still perform pictures at an exhibition blindfolded, okay, maybe I took it too far, but you see my point. That's prepared. Be prepared, and you won't be afraid to mess up. Number two, be confident. I know this is easier said than done to just have confidence in yourself, but there are things you can do to help yourself gain confidence. Like having a mantra or a phrase or a sentence that you can say that's confidence boosting, that boosts your self-esteem, or something else that can help your confidence, and this should go without saying, but you'd be surprised, especially in a college environment. Take a shower, comb your hair, wear a nice suit or dress, or a colorful tie or bow or something that makes you stand out. Those kinds of things will boost your confidence. And remember that your confidence can rub off on the audience as well. And if the audience is that you're confident and relaxed, that will rub back off on you. Number three, and this is a big one, take your time. You know that feeling of walking out on stage and feeling as though the audience is just staring into your soul? I certainly do, and it's no fun. And as awkward as it may be, you need to take your time setting up, getting tuned, laying your equipment out, or whatever it is you need to do. And remember that the audience is there on your time. They're there to see you perform. So take your time setting up, and most importantly, take a deep, calming breath before you play. So after you've got all your equipment laid out, your mutes or your piano bench is adjusted correctly, take a deep breath, regain your mental focus, and prepare yourself for performance. Too often people rush into performing, and that messes them up. The next thing you should do when taking your time is visualize the first couple of bars that you're gonna play in your head. Visualize the tempo, how you want to sound, and the actual start of the piece. Once you've done this and you have how the piece is gonna sound in your head before you start, your performance is gonna start off much better. Number four, perform as often as you can. I think we can all agree that playing any instrument requires practice, so why shouldn't the same go for performing? Unfortunately, you need to practice performing in order to get better at it. So this means that you're gonna have to face your fear and walk awkwardly out onto the stage to perform in front of people over and over and over and over again before you actually feel confident doing it. Perform for your friends, your family, heck, just set up on the street if that's what you need to do. But perform as often as you can and that will help you get over your fear. Number five, don't expect to be perfect. Unfortunately, with the rise of digital media, we have succumbed to what I like to call the perception of perfection, meaning that we have developed this idea that we have to sound exactly like the recordings that we hear, which most of the time are edited and sound perfect. We listen to CDs of the best instrumentalists, singers, or whatever in the world, and we feel like we have to be and sound just like them in order to be good. So when we crack a single note or play a note out of tune, we spiral into this crippling self-doubt that just botches the rest of our performance. It's important to know that even the best players in the world mess up. Even the best players have a bad day. They just don't put it on CD for everybody to hear. So give yourself room to mess up. Give yourself room to say, you know what, overall that was a really good performance. If you do that, then performing will become a whole lot more natural. So that's all for me today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Remember to subscribe for future content, and I'll see you in the next video.